welcome everyone to this english class and in today's class we will be learning about the chapter model millionaire this chapter is written by oscar wilde and he is an irish writer a poet let me first introduce you these characters right in front of you first of all we will find these two friends okay hughie and alan they are very good friends now alan is a painter whereas hughie has no job he is a happy going person he enjoys his life he is not worried about what is going to happen so these two are the main characters of this story and then we have here these two characters one is colonel and colonel's daughter retired colonel and his daughter laura laura and here hubi they love each other so these two lovers they want to get married but it is not happening why because colonel says to hubi he likes hubi very much but when it comes to his daughter he wants that you don't have job hubi doesn't have job so colonel retired colonel is worried about his daughter so he wants from him that show me your own 10000 pounds and then both of you can get married so this is the condition now he is a very handsome guy and a beautiful girl but where will he get from 10000 pounds so he is not able to marry laura fine he is not worried as i said he is happy going person but no job because he does not he may not have the skill which is necessary okay but he has a friend here al so he spends time with him and he also spends sometimes just visiting laura but talking about marriage no way no 10000 pounds in show and then you get married okay next we have here this two now here talking about gustava a messenger of baron baron hamster he is standing as a model for allen's studio so who is he we will see shortly so i hope this characteristic analysis is quite clear to you we have here these two friends allen and this old man remember baron is good friend of him these two are good friends these two are good friends and these two are again good friends so he comes in between and this person gustava is a messenger for baron let us begin the story <coughs> Hughie a happy going person has no job but goes around aimlessly a jolly person he wants to get married with Laura Laura the daughter of retired colonel but colonel has a condition 10000 pounds Hughie should show 
his own money not that he he is not asking he wants to see huey has 10000 pounds and then they two can marry so huey goes to alan who is alan alan is a painter alan is a painter and when huey goes to alan studio he finds this man baron in his beggar like dress all like in a beggar's dress beggar like dress giving pose in his studio so alan is painting alan is painting him and he goes inside and is watching wow so you are painting how much they get they are giving pose as a model how much does he get Haters, not much. A selling or so, and you, he gets plenty. So he is not happy. He is not happy because they earn so much, and they also work so much, giving pose continuously without moving, but earns comparatively very less. Okay, that is the conversation. We will see. and then he gets a somebody wants some framing business so he says okay you do not go you don't go i am going out and will be back so he goes out and then he is here and he is watching poor beggar and he feels pity for him has so poor what to do so from his pocket he takes a sovereign a coin gold coin and gives in his hand now this guy how he is dressed dressed in a dirty torn cloth and one hand he is raising just a one hand placing on the stick and with one hand one cap holding a cap and just hold one stick like this holding and cap asking for something else. and his cloth he is just uh, flung uh, behind and very poor dirty clothes so he feels very pity for him what he does he takes one coin and gives in that cap which he held give fine and then comes back and this man is wondering what is happening he does not even know what was happening he suddenly he could not react and then he comes he comes and is okay friend bye bye see you later and then he goes to meet his laura to spend some time and he continues his painting he is quite excited and he wants to know who is that person huey who came who is that person you mean who had just came oh he is my friend fine tell me more about him tell me and he tells about huey about his girlfriend laura and about colonel who is not bringing them together because he has conditions and he shows lot of interest but he does not know the reason why he is so excited okay there is also something he goes out to meet laura laura and then laura is not happy that he has given money to him why because because he had only that much money very important he had only he ch- 
shirt in his pocket. He wanted to give him more to Baron. He wanted to give more to Baron. But he had only that much money. He just checked in his pocket. He took that all. My dear friend, I wish, I wish I could give you more. But see, this is what I have got for you. Whatever. Anyway, take it. Gave everything, whatever he had in his pocket. So, he goes to meet Laura. How? He's walking. <laughs> he has no money now, right? So what he's doing? He's now walking. Walking. No auto, no bus, no tram, nothing. You see his character. This is what. If I ask you the question that explain Huey's character, this is what. No, no money. So he walks. So she is not happy. But she loves him. And you, oh, what to do with you? First of all, you are struggling and you are helping others. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry, it happens. Come on, my dear, don't take it so personal. Don't be, okay, you are always like that, I know you. And you will never learn. Come, let us go. Come. Okay, we'll meet tomorrow. So he is again walking, walking to his home. Walking to his home. And in that evening, what is happening? They both come together to a tea stall, you can call it, to a hotel, to come together to meet. And then, here, Alan, he tells Huey, you know what happened? That old man, that old man here, Baron, he was asking so much about you. And I told him about you. And he does not know that he has told all these things. So he is telling, oh, that beggar man here with all those things. When I go back to my home, I will find him somewhere on the roadside. So don't worry. And then he is telling, I feel pity for him. And I wish I could give him some of the clothes, some of the things, some way I could help him. Alan, what? You want to help him? Yes. Because I feel very pity for him. Okay, I see. Anyway, he was, Baron was asking about you, so I told him, I told him, Baron, about your girlfriend, Laura, about her father, retired colonel, and your condition, that what all struggle you are going through. What Hubie tells him, you have told all my secret to him. How can I trust you? You cheat, fraud. Everything you have told about my personal life, who is telling? Hubie is telling. I gave him one sovereign, one gold coin to him because he needed one sovereign. Remember that? And then Alan realizes, okay, now I understand the truth behind why he was so much interested about you. Now I see, you know, he was asking me so many questions and he was so happy. He was so happy. After you left, he was so happy. He was just willing to know so much curiosity. Yeah, could you please tell me more about him? More, more, I want to know. And I was wondering what happened. I was not here. What went on here? And now I see the truth. So this is what. You yourself don't have money and the money you just simply gave him. And that is the reason he was so much interested in you. Okay, so you, when you don't have 
and you want to be so much of generous this is what happens to you you just go empty pocket everywhere and now he is very much angry with him why because he feels he cannot maintain his privacy so and all the more he is worried that what how how can his friend do that to him now he reveals the truth you know my friend he mean that old man whom you saw in my studio today is not a beggar he is one of the richest man in europe and he can stop even russia from going to war so much of power and influence he has he is one of the most influential person one of the richest person in europe okay come, come on come on i mean the thing is what is it true what you are saying yes and he is my friend what he is one of the richest person baron is one of the richest person in europe and i did not know and i gave you one sovereign one gold coin i gave one gold coin to one of the richest person in europe oh my god how why why didn't you tell me why didn't you why didn't you tell me that before why <laughs> you know why he is laughing now he is laughing because he has given one gold coin to him to one of the richest person and he is feeling bad but he tells you don't worry my dear friend you see he likes your generosity he tells he tells to him you know what he likes his generosity and that is why he was so much interested to know more about huey okay but he is not happy he is angry irritated disturbed and goes out and he laughs ha, 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 ha. and you know the reason behind why he laughs so that scene takes place in the uh stall where they come together to have a cup of coffee or whatever next day here he gets up early in the morning no one is here and then he is getting an information from his helper that someone wants to meet you someone wants to meet you okay i see someone wants to meet me who is that let him come in and then here comes gustava old gustava comes to meet him yes what happened i come on behalf of baron Baron, oh good, good, I'm, I'm extremely sorry. I mean, go and please tell him an apology for me, because I didn't know all these things. I did not know, and I just did. But I really don't mean to insult him. I'm sorry for all that. Oh, don't worry about that, old man. Baron, don't worry about that. He only sent me. You know why he sent me? He sent me to give you this one envelope. Take this. and he gives that envelope to him and he goes now he is here he opens that envelope and he finds first of all on the top of the envelope written from the old beggar wedding wishes best wishes so who is sending he is sending the best wishes to him and that is there is an envelope He opens the envelope, and what is inside? He finds a check of ten thousand pounds. My God, ten thousand pounds! He is excited. What is that ten thousand pound necessary? Why? Why is that necessary? Remember that his friend Alan had told everything about 
him. And he took so much of interest in him. Why do you think he took so much of interest about him, knowing more about him? That is the question that I'm going to ask you. And you will be giving answer, okay? So 10,000 pound now he got. And with that, definitely he is going to get married with Laura. Because this 10,000, 10,000 which he got, he's going to show to retired colonel. Retired colonel will see that 10,000 more pose. He has his own 10,000 now. So he will be happy that they both should come together. And then definitely he is married. He gets married with Laura. Where is Laura? Where is Laura? Come here. Okay, he gets married with Laura. And on the day of wedding, when the marriage is taking place, on that day he was the special guest. Here. Where is Alan? Alan was the special guest and he gave a special speech. Special speech he had given on their wedding. So this is the story all about. And all are happy. On his wedding, they are all happy. And there is a big celebration. And with that, we end our story. I hope my students you have understood everything and in case you face any difficulties and doubts, let me know.